Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. While you're here, please make sure to like, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. The views that I discuss are my own personal opinions and reactions for commentary, and everything is alleged. So let's get into the video, guys. I was in the middle of making a video about something that Mel just posted in her stories. So I see she caught the shade from Marceau under a post on Instagram about Martel, but I'm wondering if she caught Stormy's shade as well. So take a listen. So under that post on Instagram, Marceau comments, this is what happens when your friends, in quotation marks, aren't in your inner circle. And after he posted that, there were a couple people that started, you know, responding back to him saying that he was wrong to put that. One lady put, the reason you know, the reason we know you is because of Mel and Martel. Always remember who's helped you. That's the problem now. People turn on the ones that help them. Now that's weird. No loyalty. Marcel then responds, this is the World Wide Web, sis. That's what WWW stands for. And then the lady responds, yep, it's the World Wide Web. What does that have to do with me saying we wouldn't know you if it weren't for them? We definitely wouldn't be following you because we wouldn't know who you are. That's all I'm saying. It's really sad that all of you have treated this woman this way. She helped all of y'all get on. Not saying y'all have to kiss her but but i wouldn't be gloating in what she has going on remember what goes up must come down one day it might be you and marceau responds i don't give a who or what you know what does you knowing me benefit me you don't know me by the way and which is more i don't know you and i guess um stormy wasn't really shady but she did comment, I'm late. And then Marceau responds to her, we all are shaking my head. Let's go. Now, this same page on Instagram posted the quotes from Mel. Why aren't these two up under that post? Why choose the post that was about Martel? You know, so maybe it's just me. Marceau, it's to be expected with him. So it is what it is. But, you know, if Mel and, and uh, Stormy are really friends, why is she bringing attention to herself knowing people are going to say, well, why is she up under this post? You know, why isn't she under Mel's post? So it is what it is. But like I mentioned, it looks like Mel caught the shade because she just posted on Instagram this morning a response to this. So Mel says, if friends in your inner circle is sitting in front of me, smiling in my face, eating at my table, vacationing with me while paying for car repairs and Valentine's Day flowers for and hanging with my then husband and one of his side chicks multiple times, then I don't need it. You think we forgot? I sure didn't. You should have set this one out. Sit all the way down, sir, because the way the Scorpio is out right now, she about to let loose, y'all. Mel then says, I mean, if all the years you were in the inner circle didn't help, well, because ain't no way I'm kicking it with my married friend's side, side nor woman. Nope. And I call the wife and the kids family, too. Nah, y'all big fake. And people be wondering why I remove myself. And then she put, in case y'all wondering what I'm talking about, Thanks for sending me this. And then she has a little, you know, screenshot of what Marceau said under that post. And then she posted, and when I'm in these stories, I ain't taking time to proof read nada. So take it as it is. But know that I ain't graduate with a 3.97 GPA for nothing and have my students, not advanced class, scoring higher than the advanced students for no reason. So don't even try that one with me because I really can outright you every single time if I wanted to. 
So read and move along. This ain't about grammatically correct. That's like making sure your shoes are tied in the middle of a war. Period, sis. So I am glad that she caught that shade because that was definitely shady of Marceau. I'm so sick of his ass. You know, I think that Marceau is an excellent businessman from what I can see. We haven't seen any complaints about his black champagne in a bottle or anything like that. But it's time for him to get out of women's business. Let your wife do this, if, if that's what y'all own. But for him to just egg this on, and we know what it is. The season is approaching, two weeks away. And now here go the cast, out and about. Mel and Martell been feeding the kids all summer long on Instagram. But here they go. So typical. So I totally agree with Mel. She definitely should have removed herself from all of them. And I'm not sure how long they're going to be able to continue to film this show. Because I wouldn't want to be around any of them. Period. But like I mentioned before, I understand her not wanting to walk away from something that she created. You know, if she walks away and say, hey, forget love and marriage. I'm, I'm out of here. Then what? It's going to turn into the Scott show. And I've said that before. I'm over the Scots. I'm over Marceau. Not addressing everything that really should be addressed when it comes to him and Tisha. Yes, some things should be private. But the way that he skirts around the issues or he's really just playing up to the camera. Mar Marceau is smart. He's smart. And he's the type of man that's able to tell Tisha in advance, I'm going to make you look like a fool. I'm going to act like I don't know what you're talking about when it comes to the trip to Africa and this and that. I'm going to make you look like a fool, but it's for TV. Just like Martell was able to tell Coleslaw, dumbass, all those years. But if she walks away, it's their show. We're going to see the, the Bessemer Hillbillies, Wanda and the crew. We're going to see Marceau and Maurice just running all over Tisha and Kimmy. And then Martell would really let loose on that show if Mel decides to go. So I get it. I get why she stays. But me personally, I would have to really, really rethink that. You know. And if Marceau was saying, this is what happened when your friends aren't in your inner circle. If he was talking about Martell, he should have specified that. But we know he's not talking about Martell. Because Martell holds the dirt on Marceau. Like Mel said, you're not out here buying no goddamn flowers for Martell for Valentine's Day for somebody or paying for her car to get fixed because Martell couldn't put it on his credit cards. You're not doing all that and you're supposed to be my friend. And if he was doing all that, it's because he was doing something else on the side himself. And he knows that. And that's what I said in a video yesterday. That's why Marceau and Maurice has never let loose on Martel. Because Mel wouldn't know anything as far as what they allegedly were doing as far as side chicks. She wouldn't know anything if it wasn't for Martel. And Coleslaw saw it with her own eyes and has put it out there numerous of times. So you would think Marceau would have been let loose on Martel. And said, man, shut your chick up. She know I ain't been messing around with nobody. She know I wasn't with no linebackers in Atlanta. No, you gonna shut that up, dude. He ain't said it. And the reason why he hasn't is because it's the truth. So, like I mentioned yesterday, Marceau is a city slickster. But you can't all slick no slickster. That's a woman or a man that's from the big city. And I see straight through him. Straight through him. You down for Martell cheating. You down for paying for repairs and paying for this and paying for that. But you supposedly, like this girl said, her friend. Or you're her family. No, she peeped the game. And she made the necessary adjustments and moved on. So I hate that it looks like... Is going to be what it was last season. That's what it looks like to me. Everybody is going to be against Mel. So I'm curious to see what Miss Stormy is going to do. 
Does she want to increase her popularity on the show? And in doing so, that's getting down with the enemies that's against Mel? Because it's been some shadiness, and that maybe that's just me. But I've seen a little shadiness throughout this summer when it comes to Stormy. Or is she going to ride for her girl? Because like I said, as Mel's girl... I would have been under Mel's post on Instagram, not Martel's. I would have been under my girl's post saying, oh, I'm late. What happened, sis? So they all on some BS to me. So you guys drop down in the comments. And let me know what you think about this. Mel is on one. She's had enough and she's letting loose. And I don't blame her. Now, I don't want her to... Let it continue on uh, for too long. Go back to being a boss male. Go back to making your money moves and doing what you need to do. But like I mentioned, enough is enough. Everyone has a breaking point before they let loose. And people ain't going to let you just continue to play in their face. That's it. That's all. So yeah, I can handle my business and continue to move forward in life. But don't get it twisted. I can definitely spin the block and come back and handle what needs to be done. So like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Drop down in the comments. Please make sure you subscribe as well. Chat with you soon. Bye.